Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tawana and uh, in this video lecture session, I am going to show you a, a solution for problems on projection of plane surfaces. And the example problem is like this. A pentagonal lamina of edges 25 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners such that the plane surface makes an angle with 60 degree with HP. The two of the edges containing the corner on which the lamina rests make equal inclination with HP. When the edge opposite to this corner make an angle of 45 degree to VP and nearer to the observer. Draw the top and front views of the lamina in this position. Now to solve this problem, so one has to go for a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13. Uh, first they have to construct an XY line. After constructing an XY line, uh, using the text command name the endpoints of the line as X and Y and after which one has to mark VP as well as HP to indicate the first quadrants. And after which the pentagon has to be constructed for which there is no options are available here. Hence one has to go to applications, in the application go to macro and in the run macro and one can see where the macros are available in windows c then program file solid is v19 custom inside polygon bin and there you will find inside polygon go to the inside polygon open it select the third option called as flat length and the given length of the pentagon is 25 and enter the size of 25 the number of sides of the pentagon is there 5 and apply relationship just click it on the uh, screen now you can see the pentagon is going to be appeared now the thickness of the pentagon is supposed to be 0 0.5 millimeter now one has to understand whether it's a side resting pentagon or corner resting pentagon it is a corner resting pentagon hence uh, select this pentagon and rotate in such a way that it will get the corner resting pentagon for corner resting pentagon i will select this edge and i'll make it as vertical line now you can see this becomes the corner resting pentagon and that corner resting pentagon is placed properly in the HP and then we should continue the problem then make use of uh, smart dimensions or distance between command and measure the dimension as 25 millimeter and start giving the namings for the corner as A B and uh, this is going to be C and uh, this point is going to be D and this corner is going to be marked as E then accordingly make use of a line command with the thickness of 0 0.13 millimeter project these corners till the XY line to project the front view. The end point symbol has to be selected properly and here the point on element again C and D is going to be projected here. And after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. Uh, join this point to this point as separate line and this point to this point as separate line to complete the projectors in the next stages. Then make use of a text command and uh, one can name this corner as uh, a dash and the further corner as B dash as well as E dash and the last point will be marked as C dash as well as D dash. Now one can see that according to the given condition the first stage has been completed. What's the second stage? The surface is inclined at 60 degree with HP. Now the front view has to be inclined at 60 degree to XY line. Now select the front view completely and go to a command called as move, move with respect to the corner A dash reposition that a dash on the xy line properly and then go to a rotate command make sure that a dash is fixed and c dash is getting rotated and the rotation angle is 60 degree then enter the angle and then mark it properly and then show that these angles are 60 degree to each other and then make use of a line command and complete the top view now to complete the top view project c and d properly on the top view that is C is connected to C and then D is connected to D so C D is finished then we are going to start with B with the next uh, extreme corners so connect B to B and then remaining uh, E to E projectors and then this is going to complete the projector of uh, A B sorry except A all other points is finished now go to A get the position to A and mark for A to A so this completes all the necessary projections and then go to a text command and start giving the 
names of the corners as A, B, C, D as well as E. And then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter. One can join A to B as a dark line and B to C, C to D, D to E and then E to A. Now one can see that the projections has been completed. Now after further which uh, the one more condition is given that is the two edges containing the corner on which the lamina rests make equal inclination with HP. Now you can see the two resting edges are uh, the AB and AE. Now AB and AE is becoming parallel to XY line that AB and AE is inclined to XY line at a same angle. This condition is going to be satisfied whenever we go with corner resting. So need not to be worry about that. This is given condition to confuse you people and then when the edge opposite to this corner makes a 45 degree with VP and nearer the observer that is the side opposite to the resting corner is DC is inclined at an angle of 45 degree to VP and it should be nearer to the observer. The observer position is here. Now the observer position the DC should be inclined at 45 degree. Now we should measure that the length of DC. Now the length of DC is how much? Now line length DC is measuring 25 here and in the first stage whether the DC is measures 25? Yes. In both the stages the line DC measures 25. Hence the given angle is true angle and the length obtained is also true length. So straight away without any constructions we can complete the problem. Now one can draw an XY line, sorry one can draw an inclined line whose angle is supposed to be 45 degree. Now let us log this angle as 45 degree. Now here condition should be satisfied that CD is on the XY line but CD is nearer to the observer that means A should be in between the inclined line and the XY line. Okay. Now in such a way that we have to transfer this figure. Now select this top view completely select this top view completely that is uh, go to uh, the selection select this top view completely and then make use of a command called as move move with respect to c and c will be pointed on 45 degree line and then uh, go for rotate command and C as a fixed point, D as a rotating point, D should be point on element as well as parallel. Now one can see that the line CD is parallel to XY line and CD is parallel to the observer and when the CD is parallel to the observer, the corner A is towards the XY line. Otherwise, this A can be here but according to the given condition, CD must be nearer to the observer. Now the condition is satisfied. Now make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13. Start with the right extreme corner that is E. Connect E to E dash and along with E dash we have B dash. So let us finish that B dash projector also. And then the next right extreme corner is going to be D and connect D to D dash. And after connecting D to D dash then the one more projector is there that is called as C. And last we have A is on the XY line. And then make use of this uh, text command name the respective corners. And this corner will become A dash and this corner will become B dash. This corner will become C dash and this corner will become D dash and this corner is going to be the E dash. Once all the respective corners has been finished then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.5 millimeter one can join A dash to B dash and B dash to C dash then C dash to D dash D dash to E dash back to A dash. Now this completes the projection of the given conditions of the problem of the plane surfaces. Now if any doubts are there feel free to contact me and also please make sure that subscribe to the, my youtube channel and also share this video to all first year engineering students. If you subscribe more and keep watching these videos which will give an encouragement to do more and more videos. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching my video.